Golden Gate Bridge. Welcome to San Francisco. So the USA IFSC trip starts now. Ready for a road trip. Starbucks we've got. Um, this is Slobodan who is a photographer for the IFSC. Very talented man. And we are going on a road trip from San Francisco to Salt Lake City via Yosemite and maybe Lake Tahoe. But we haven't really got a plan. We don't know what's happening. Yeah, we are just crossing the bay area, the San Mateo Bridge. Okay. So we're going to the East Bay, not East Coast, East Bay. <laughs> and we are continuing to Yosemite. We're into the sort of like, I don't know, what would you call this? Like the plains? The, yeah. The plains, big grassy sweeps leading to some mountains. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So enthusiastic. Boulders, big walls, <laughs> everything. Well, that is a place I've always wanted to see. That's El Cap behind, behind wait, that, that lump of rock. Wicked, the valley is beautiful. There's apparently more water here than like ever before in any other year. So the waterfalls are insane. It's just super cool. What a cool place. Just a bit of half dome for you. <laughs> yeah! I've got to do that now. Again, a boulder I have always wanted to see. One day I will do. There's no pads here right at the moment. It looks super polished. I was just saying how diverse California is. Like we've, you know, there's like beaches, there's Yosemite, we're in the mountains now. It kind of feels like I'm driving back into Chamonix, which is weird. Uh, yeah, it's cool. Come to Lake Tahoe, Emerald Bay, which is behind me. What are we doing? It's checking the beauty of Land of Free. We're gonna go look at guns. I'm pretty anti-gun, I will be honest. I just don't understand the arguments for America not having stricter controls. Uses. Last day off to uh, off to Salt Lake, so Reno to Salt Lake, about seven hours. Thanks, cheers. Mmm, Subway. That's the Salt Flats. That's where like land speed records happen. And I actually flew over it when we were coming to San Francisco. It was cool to drive past it. Are we going to go break one? Yep. We can break a record? Yep. Fastest mat in a Subaru. So we've just arrived, and I don't usually do this, but I wanted to show you my hotel room because it's absolutely massive. I've got a big kitchen. Look, there's like a live, I've got a living room. A living room! Giant bed, very nice. Bathroom suite area where I have uh, an ironing board, which I will not use. Bathroom, which I will not show you. So yeah, luxurious. So we've come to James's hotel to meet him to find out uh, what we're doing tomorrow. That's the plan, and it's pouring with rain. Wherever I go, I bring the rain. <laughs> it's I'm a curse. James Rudge. <laughs> Tell us what we're doing tomorrow. So big day tomorrow, qualifications is kicking off, and I'm gonna take you guys along and show you exactly what goes down in preparation. Sneaking in a session, which is wicked. Uh, I really had to motivate myself for this one. Temptation just to sit and chill was high, but I'm in the wall. Uh, thank you very much guys for letting me in, appreciate it. Um, so yeah, a little session now to get the fingers going because I have not climbed or really exercised in like three days. <laughs> so I'm gross. I need to do something.
about to go, well, I'm about to go for breakfast and then we're gonna go and meet James for his breakfast. And we're gonna follow him throughout the day as he does the qualifying for the para climbing. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. And now myself and Fred are going to the venue and then the GB guys will come and join us at the venue in a bit. We're gonna get there before them so we can film some stuff and film them arriving. One of the really good things about a paraclimbing competition is we can do a little bit more stuff with the athletes because the IFSC is super big on us promoting the event. Uh, there's just a little less restriction on what we can and can't do, which is cool because that means we can do some real like behind the scenes stuff, some fly on the wall documentary style stuff. So this is my favorite event. <laughs> I will be honest. I love the athletes, I love the broadcast, I just love the whole thing. Currently juggling three different storylines. One is James, uh, one is a Chilean climber called Ignacio, and then we have to film Alana Yip and her partner Chaz for a documentary for someone else. So it, trying to like coordinate when the athletes are climbing with Fred, which stories we need is, is quite complicated, but it's all good and we're underway. <laughs> he, ha he hates, wow. Professional PB thingy thingy. The one in the... That's sick. We did it! We did it! Last time there was a gathering, I ended up jumping off a roof into a swimming pool, which is not advised. Don't do it. It was fun though. Matt. Hey. Yeah, cheers, man. Double cheese. I am backstage here at the Salt Lake City Boulder event. It's qualifying today on the Friday. Today is the, the quality day, so it's like our normal content stuff, lots of interviews. Hey. <laughs> I mean, I hope not. Men's qualifying. Try to be subtle. Oh, good. Got the shots? Oh, yeah. All the shots. All the bangers. All of them. It is extremely hot here in Salt Lake, but luckily, America does hospitality properly. And although technically I'm not a VIP, I think I am allowed into the VIP and... Hello guys. Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Huh? Chicken broth, no? I'm gonna stay way back. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, has Everyone wants to see you. <laughs> Three broadcasts today. Semi-finals for the women. Finals for the women. And then speed finals. In the middle of all that is speed qualification. First thing in the morning when I arrive at the venue, I always go find some start lists, I guess say hello to the crew, go figure out my position, and I like to get here pretty early before a comp starts. Soak it all in a little bit, you know? Feel prepared, not feel rushed. Hey. Yo. Yo. This is it, this is the box. When we're right in the middle of the field. And there is the climbing wall. How's the uh, screen situation? Uh, the screen situation was all right 30 seconds ago and then I pivoted it. And, uh... <laughs> you pivoted? Yeah. <laughs> Semi-final! 
final's done. Very easy working with Megan, who is a professional. I'm gonna go away, find some lunch, chill out for a little bit, and then uh, return this afternoon for the final. We are half an hour away from the start of the women's final. Myself and Megan in the commentary box. Hello. Uh, had a bit of a break this afternoon, and then so we got women's boulder, and then we got women's boulder speed as well. So we just did the boulder finals. We're about to do the speed finals. Uh, we've had enough time for a snack. Well, Megan gave me a snack. Thank you, Megan. I appreciate it. I can't look after myself. And yeah, speed time. So can't wait for that. Top button clicking. Thank you, Fred. The master, the master of the replays. Same tomorrow, but we have to do the highlight. The highlights? Yeah, we have to do the men, the women. Oh my God, I can't speak. Women's highlight for speed and boulder. That's what we're doing now. And I've got a drink. Uh, Matt is ill, uh, so I'm going to take over his job and do my job also because uh, I have time for that. First, I'm going to see that the timer is well plugged. It's well plugged. It's well plugged. Good morning, uh, welcome to day two of this crazy weekend. Same schedule as yesterday, so the men's semi-final, then the men's final later on, and then the men's speed. Got a bit of work to do in the middle, but uh, it's good to be here. The field is empty. Everyone is hard at work over there. And uh, yeah, last day, let's get cracking. Done! Another semi-final out of the way. That was actually quite a difficult one. It was a sort of a slow burner. And those uh, can be quite hard to like generate energy sometimes. So you, you've got to time it. You can't start off at like 100 miles per hour. So it was good. Very sweaty, getting a bit burned. I'm just fueled by sweets, water, and your snacks that you gave me last night. <laughs> I'm here to help. Thank I you. have goldfish if you need them. Ooh, I might. <laughs> I like the towel look. <laughs> interview time. We've changed the way we do the interviews. I used to have to do them and run down to the front, but now my co-commentator always goes and does them. Of course, Megan's a pro, so she's asking good questions. Come on then. Oh my god. Now, now you're on the vlog. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> this is our final night in Salt Lake City. It's been a busy week. We started off with the paraclimbing earlier on in the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will say goodbye and return in Prague for the next round of the IFSC Boulder World Cup. Thank you for joining myself and Megan here in the Coventry Box. Congratulations to all the athletes. Have a wonderful evening. We will see you very soon.